Hey, what's up? Hello. Hi, we have our makeup for the first time in forever. We successfully completed a full face because it's hit or miss a lot of times, but I did it today and I did it with products that are new to me. So we're doing a get ready with me trying products that I just bought. I do my best to say what's new and then what I don't say isn't new, ain't new. So if you want to see the finished look and how I got this face and the products that I use to create it, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, stay tuned. It has been a while since we have applied a full face of makeup, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. I'm starting off with the Huda Beauty water jelly. I mentioned this in my favorites video. My nose is just <coughs> attractive. Putting that on and working it into the skin. I think you're supposed to let it dry for an hour or so. Please disregard my nails. I'm in that weird phase. I do this thing when it's time for me to get a full set where I cut the tips down to the length of my real nails and I'm supposed to soak them but I don't have any acetone. So I need to make that happen before I go get them, before I go get another full set. I managed to get these two off and these two, but the rest need to be soaked. Um, I had talking points. Where am I talking? Oh, I have it covered up with my phone. Cause otherwise, <clears throat> we'll just be sitting here and then no one wants that, that would be boring. I'm so proud of myself for doing this video. You have no idea. <sighs> I just really couldn't get it together. But here we are with it together. I don't know if it's been a minute, but we're going to go ahead and go in with the Soft Matte Complete Foundation from NARS. I am in the shade Tahoe Medium Deep. This is a new foundation. Again, most of this stuff is new unless I say it's not. Or should I say that it's should I, whatever I'm just gonna wing it I recorded this video before but I can't find the footage I'm not gonna let that mistake happen again ah oh. speaking of mistakes I meant to not do my foundation first <laughs> I told you I'm rusty so because of that we're just gonna do this half of my face um <clears throat> the one thing i do remember from this from the last time i used this foundation was that it dried quickly which is why i went in immediately with my elf angled buffing brush which is new to blend it in because i remember it not being i remember it drying fast okay i was a little scared because you saw how it looked when it first went on this is what i meant to do I meant to go in with my MAC Prep and Prime. This is Peach Luster and a color correct. And since this is the worst side in my face, I guess this is the side that needed it more anyway. Um, I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty, um, I think this is a concealer brush to blend it my skin's been doing better since I've been using that very clear serum that I've mentioned in previous videos but as you can see hyperpigmentate hyperpigmentation is still very much present and accounted for am I supposed to be dabbing or dragging because I'm doing a combination of both 
so <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing that a lot throughout the video I apologize in advance I'm getting over something and apparently this is I guess the last of it it better be the last of it <sighs> so yeah just bear with me all right I guess I'll go ahead and get into my talking points this if it if it's not going to be the last video of 2022 is going to be one of the last videos of 2022 I really and I know I say this a lot I really don't know what 2022 and beyond looks like for me in this channel oh this is the bright fix eye brightener from Fenty also new yeah I don't know I don't know I've been saying for years because it's been years oh I'm just gonna stop doing YouTube it's not it's not giving what I thought it would give and by that I mean monetization aka money and so because of that i was like you know I'm, I'm putting all this time effort and energy into these videos blah 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 so maybe i should just stop it's kind of embarrassing at this point i don't know if that was smart or not blending the two of those um so i don't know maybe 2022 will be it we'll just kind of have to see i don't really have a What's the word I'm looking for? Like, there's no... I don't know what my breaking point is, for lack of a better phrase. I don't know what my final straw consists of. But I do feel like I'm approaching my limit. I don't know. Stuff needs to change. <laughs> but we'll see. So there's that. Um, but my whole point of, of talking about that, actually, I kind of veered off the path of the topic per usual. I was just asking, how are, are y'all feeling about 2021 ending and the new year approaching? I'm, I mean, it's whatever. I don't, I mean, it's going to happen regardless as to whether I'm ready or not. Ready? No. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> how are y'all feeling about it? I'm just like, meh. Um, yeah, I, I, I feel no ways in my Omarion voice. I feel no ways. So there's that. <laughs> Random. I'm listening to Will Smith's audiobook, which is so good, by the way. I am on chapter six. Ignorance is the title of the chapter. I am so glad that I opted for the audiobook. I mean, I'll probably get the book book, the actual book at some point, but I just feel as though the experience is way more interactive and enjoyable in the audiobook because he's rapping, he's <coughs> playing excerpts from the radio and stuff like that. And I just, I'm glad that I got the audiobook because I really really like it the one thing I don't like about the audiobook is how he tries to do people's voices so he talks about his grandmother a lot in the book and he tries to do like a little old lady voice and I'm like Will stop just just say what the lady said like do you have to do the voice and he I'm at the part now where he's talking about meeting Jazzy Jeff and and all of that and then he tries to do Jazzy's voice and I'm like just can't you just quote them and say, and Jazz said, da, da, da. you don't have to do what they sound like to you or what they sound like, period. Like, I don't know. I don't like him trying to do people's voices. But other than that, I'm really, really, really enjoying the book. And I wanted to be done with it by the end of December. But obviously, if I'm only on chapter six and there are, I still have 11 hours and 48 minutes left, it's not going to happen. Um... I'll just listen to it more on my way to and from work when I go back to work. So this is what the foundation is giving right now. Um, I like it. I feel like I look a little orange. I don't think it looks that way on camera or in my viewfinder, but I kind of feel like I look a little orange in the mirror. And, it, and she dries down really quick. And if you, if you don't, recall the vlog 
whatever vlog that I mentioned getting this foundation in. I got it because, oh, I normally use the Radiant Longwear foundation and it was sold out in my shade. There was some sort of sale. It was sold out on NARS's website and on Sephora's website, or maybe it was just Sephora's. No, I think it was both. Either way, they didn't have it when it was on sale. So I took a stab at this version. So here we are. She dries down quickly. I think I've said that multiple times, but just in case I haven't, there you are. I have zero plans to edit this, by the way. I'm really just gonna try to either talk throughout or I, I plan to do little to no editing. How about that? Okay. I've used this and this. I guess I'll set now using the Ultra HD setting powder by Makeup Forever, which is relatively new. I've been, I mean, I've liked Makeup Forever for years, but I don't know. I'm just kind of revisiting some of their stuff and I'm like, okay, okay, Makeup Forever. I don't really like the packaging of this powder, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, I lied. I said there wasn't going to be any editing, but every time I do my foundation, every time I do my foundation, I don't know why I said that that fast, my nose runs, so let me take care of that and I'll be back. I know. I know. <clears throat> okay, and we're back. Are we recording? We are. So I'm just going to take the setting powder. I think I told you I'm in the shade beige 3.0. I had a little issue, if you want to call it that, with the first time I tried to get this um, setting powder. I got the wrong shade. It was too dark. So I had to send it back and I got this one and I'm much happier with this one. So just for shade reference, just letting you know. I'm just... I haven't been buying a lot of makeup, but I've bought more than what I need to considering the circumstances of the world and how it seems as though mask life won't ever be a thing. And honestly, I think that just seeing how, if there's one thing this perumpa bum bum has taught me is that people are gross and that the fact that videos had to be made to teach grown people how to wash their hands and to, and how long to wash their hands. And then I'm sure a lot of you have been in the restroom with people who like, why am I starting washing my hands? I'm still washing my hands and you've come out, washed your hands and left. And I'm just like, and these, yeah, it's just disappointing to see how quickly how how everybody got back to normal so quickly um and just seeing how gross things have were and now it's back to that if that makes any sense you know it was at one point where you could see people cleaning up in between people constantly and doing stuff like that and it, it to me gave me a sense of like okay you're not that it's not that gross here and now to not see it anymore is like, oh, so we're back to the previous disgusting ways. Cool, cool, cool. Whatever. Um, going in with the Glow Wish Foundation Luminous Pressed Powder by Huda Beauty in the shade Tan. I'm not quite sure what I think about this shade. I kind of feel that it's a little too dark but I'm hoping that mixed in with the yellow that I'm dusting away will make it, I don't know if I would wear this on its own, if that makes any sense. So to me, tan is too dark by just like a half shade. I don't have any lights on, it's cloudy today. So hopefully I still look decent. Let me try and turn the light on, let's see. Does that make it better or worse? Nah, I think it's fine. I'll leave it. <coughs> Ooh, got myself in the eye. This was a fairly new purchase, by the way. Again, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying half the time. I'm just kind of rambling. All right, what else are we talking about? Did any are any of you still keeping up with your quarantine hobbies? I am not, and I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I 
And by quarantine hobbies, I mean stuff that you bought or picked up during 2022. No, that's not what I mean. I mean stuff that you bought or picked up during 2020. I bought a keyboard. I used to play piano when I was younger. And I told myself that I wanted to get back into it. So I bought a keyboard, I bought labels for the keyboard. And by labels, I mean labels for the keys. I'm just realizing I didn't put on any setting spray. Should I do that? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Hmm. Hmm. I can kind of see, I mean, the, the powder does say glow. And I can see like a little, I can see a glow in the foundation. It's not bad. I just didn't expect it. And I feel as if right here, it looks like I tried to contour it and I did not. So that's why I was like, hmm, hmm. Um, I guess I'll use this Beauty Bakery setting spray. I haven't used it in a while. And it has that kind of this thing where I'm afraid that eventually the product just won't come out anymore. Hmm. Kind of like the uh, Morphe. You remember Morphe? I don't buy their stuff anymore, but their setting spray had a bottle similar to this. And I remember buying some of their setting spray, not using it. Damn. And um, it just wouldn't spray out anymore. I couldn't, couldn't get it together. I was very annoyed about that. My fan is over there. Oh, I was talking about quarantine hobbies and habits and stuff that you picked up. Are you still doing those things? I am not. I'm a little disappointed. I kind of want to pick it back up, but I'm afraid I'm just going to fall off again. So I started playing the piano or playing the piano again, because again, I used to do it when I was little. And I stopped, so I bought a keyboard, I labeled the keys, I was learning little songs like Happy Birthday and some Christmas song. Point is, I don't do it anymore and I'm debating on whether or not I should pick it back up. Um, what else? I was trying to improve my Spanish and I was getting very, um, I was doing that pre-pandemic though, but I was heavily, I was into it more heavily during uh, 2020. <clears throat> and then it just got to the point where I was like, honestly, I think unless I have someone who I communicate with regularly and by regularly, I mean every day or at least hours, multiple times a week or something. I don't know. I just, my point is I'm not using my Spanish. And so I don't know how I'm supposed to get better at it if I'm not doing it every day. And honestly, if I'm not conversing with someone I don't know how I'm supposed to get better at it. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, if you're not talking to somebody in that language, it's like. And I, I remember years ago, someone was like, "Well, just watch the news. Just watch um, what's the name of the news? Tell it no, whatever they were saying. Just watch the news in Spanish and stuff like that. And I don't really, I don't know if that's really effective." I was watching 90 Day Fiance, or what was I watching the other day? No, girl, that was WandaVision. I'm tripping, but they were talking about watching American um, TV shows to learn English. And I was like, do people really do that? I just, I don't know. My brain just doesn't, I just don't get how, because you don't know what they're saying. Or, you know, what if it's a joke and you think it's serious? I don't know. And I kind of feel like you have to have some sort of base for your English. Like you can't just not know any English and then to be like, I'm just going to watch Dick Van Dyke. And now I know English. I don't know. Whatever. Speaking of WandaVision, if you follow me on Instagram and you saw my post from a couple days ago, I finally ended up finishing it. I tried it when it first came out. I don't know whose idea it was to start WandaVision off like that. But I think that they lost a lot of people starting it off that way. And then there's people like Carrie who were like, it gets better. <laughs> That's what he had to say to me. Because I was like, I can't do it, Captain. 
I don't have the power. And he was like, it gets better, it gets better. And it got better at the end of season, no, at the end of episode three. And then I was able to finish it out. But it took getting through episode one and episode two all the way to the end of episode three to be like, okay, now y'all are doing something because otherwise y'all, you were losing me. I just realized I didn't use this um, Fenty concealer brush because I was using my Selena Gomez one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got the Fenty Snap Shadow. This is the number five. I need to stop letting Rihanna's demo demos on Instagram make me want stuff because it's always going to look better on her because it's her and it's not going to look the same on me. So I need to stop letting that be my still got a little plastic on it. I need to stop letting that be like, oh, it looks so good on her. Of course, it's Rihanna. Why well, say her name like that? So, yeah, I need to stop letting Fenty Beauty hoodwink and bamboozle me. Maybe one day. Do y'all still use, what's that stuff called? Eyeshadow primer or no? I feel like at one point in time that was a really big thing and then it wasn't. And now I don't know if people use it anymore. All right, what else are we talking about? Quarantine hobbies. Oh, and just basically about how I slacked off with mine. And I'm debating on whether or not I want to pick them back up only because I don't want to disappoint myself and start it again only to stop it again. And quite frankly with my Spanish unless as I said I find someone to speak to regularly I don't see how I'm going to get any better. But I do I, I want to be fluent in another language other than English and sarcasm. I really do. I was watching this new show on um, Netflix. I want to say it's called Selling Tampa. It's about, um, I don't know if they're all black, but it's about women who are realtors, uh, women who are realtors in Tampa. And um, one of them speaks French and she was talking to this guy and I was just like, oh, I want to be able to talk. Well, not necessarily French, but just basically just taking it back to how I want to be fluent in another language. And it's so funny because in the scene where the one girl is three people in the scene and one girl is speaking French to a guy and then the other girl is just like English please and I was like I don't want to be that person <laughs> I don't I want to be able to know what's being said obviously that won't happen in all situations because I'm not gonna speak every language but I'm just saying you get my point I hope This is my second Fenty um, little quad. I also have her number three one. Am I going to use that? <laughs> Drop and stuff. Okay, I really don't want this video to be long because y'all know I can ramble. Mm. I might use just a dab of it. I'm going to use that shade here from the number three one just to... I really hope I was recording that whole time. I think I was. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes, but y'all know it'll be simple because that's what we do here. I don't know. I'm torn between these top three shades. I don't know which one I want to do. It's so easy to want to go for the gold. So I'm trying to resist that urge. The shimmerial urge to put a gold corner, a gold color on the lid. Okay, she's pretty. I'm taking that one right here. That one. What's this one's called? Oh, girl, this is too confusing. I don't know. Whatever one, the top, this one. Um, Let's see what else we got to talk about. Um, stop saying, um, 
do you have any goals for 2022 i'm not doing a vision board this year i don't think and if i do i'll likely keep it to myself <laughs> or keep it really low key i don't know i don't necessarily want a visual reminder of my i'm not gonna say my failures but of things that I didn't get to accomplish, which is what my current vision board is as of right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I did get some of the stuff done, but not all, which I know isn't the point of a vision board. I don't, I'm just being, whatever. This is, I'm back on the three now. Cause y'all know I need a, I'm gonna do a dark. Y'all need, y'all know I need a dark color on the outer corner. So I'm just taking that purple shade. So no vision board, I don't think. If so, I haven't done anything for it. I haven't printed out any pictures or anything. And today is the 28th, so. Clearly I need to get it together. I know I was talking about books earlier. I have my Audible sus subscription and I've since downloaded two other books. They gave me a free download. So I used that one to get, I wanna say it's called You're More Than Enough by Elaine Welteroth. I think I'm saying her last name right. She had a cameo on Insecure recently. Speaking of, we are gonna talk about Insecure. Um, but I got her book, which I had been interested in seeing that she um has a class um on master class i really wanted to get a membership but i didn't want to spend what two hundred dollars to do it it's like mm, i don't know we gonna read the book and then we'll see so i got her book and then a, another insecure connect i got uh yvonne orgy's book the bamboozled by jesus book which i wasn't sure if i was gonna get it but obviously we got it so We'll see. I'm just taking this shade here. Sorry, okay, I'm trying to do too much. Taking this shade and I'm using my finger to kind of marry these two shades together, if that makes sense. A little transition, if you will. Mind you, I have nowhere to go. So, um, yeah, for those of y'all who watch Insecure, what'd you think about the finale? If you haven't watched Insecure by now, you probably want to stop watching and go watch or something because this is about to be full of spoilers, full of Insecure finale spoilers. So I don't want to hear, oh, I haven't watched it. If I'm saying multiple times, spoiler, spoiler. If you have not watched the finale, this is your moment to stop watching this video and go watch it. I'm giving you time. This is me giving you time. I'm going to um, go back in with the three palette and use the brown shade for my lower lash line. Yeah, so okay. If you haven't turned off by now, then you're clearly asking for spoilers. All right. I'm going to say the finale was okay. The reason why I say it was okay is because I did not like that Issa wound up with Lawrence. I said it. Now, who would I have preferred she ended up with? I don't know. I know a lot of people were like, Nathan, Daniel, hell, some people even wanted um, Crenshaw, whose name I hated. But some people even wanted him. I don't really know. I just, I don't know. I was just kind of looking at it like, I just didn't want them to end up together, especially once he and Condola had the baby. I thought there was some, I felt better about them at the end of season four. Remember when they went on that art walk and they had the night and she was just like, well, what if I don't want to leave? And it just seemed like that would have been the moment for them to kind of get their shit together. And then that's when we found out condolences was pregnant. I just, I don't know. I don't like, I just didn't like that she got to be with somebody who got a kid. I don't like it. I wanted her to be with somebody childless. Maybe that's just like a personal. <laughs> that's like, that's my own stuff. Like, why she got to be stepmama? 
people were like, it's giving Melanie and Derwin from the game, which they're not wrong. So that's, that's that. I just, I don't know. And, and, and I'm trying to think like, if, if Lawrence didn't have a kid, would I feel the same way? Probably not. I'd probably be fine that they were together. Cause I just, I don't know. I guess I'm looking at it like why she got to settle. I don't know. I, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I said it. I don't like it. With that being said, I did like Molly's ending. Molly, um, I'm just, her storyline from start to finish, or her story just tied together really well. This is royal icing from um, Fenty Beauty. I was just happy that she found what it was she was really looking for. Uh, let's see, Kelly, I don't like how they did Kelly. I thought, now I'm someone who's seen all episodes of the entire series multiple times with the exception of this last season. The last season in and of itself didn't do anything for me. I only watched one episode more than once and that was the episode where Issa told Nathan she loved him and the only reason why I did that is because y'all know I like to get on Twitter after I watch my shows to see what the people are saying. And somebody had said during the episode that Issa told Nathan she loved him and I was like when did that happen? So clearly I wasn't paying attention. So I went back and watched that episode. <coughs> Excuse me. To to see what I missed. So I would so I watched that episode again. I'm going to watch the finale again just because I've been there from the beginning and I'm going to watch the episode before the finale again because that what to me was the best episode of the season and then the finale i just felt that the the time like i got whiplash trying to figure out how much time had passed and one thing i would really like Issa to answer is how many years is the series supposed to be covered you know what i'm saying because they say one year later in the finale, I want to say there was another episode in a previous season where they have said one year later. And then just from start to finish, how many years were supposed to have passed? Just curious about that. I can't talk and do eyeliner. I was worried about how they were going to put together everybody's, like, wrap up everybody's stories in the final season, given that the episodes are so short. And I do think they did that. However, I do think that they should have, instead of having what I considered a lot of throwaway episodes this season, they could have been fanning out you know what i'm saying because it was a lot like happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday and then you know molly's mom dies and then tiff um tiffany's moved tiffany's pregnant again kelly's pregnant just, just lawrence got a girl and then on his birthday and then it was just a lot i'm talking a lot this video is gonna be long as hell but my point is it was just it was a lot and I just, I kind of feel that they could have fleshed some of that stuff out better had they not put in those episodes to me that didn't really matter throughout the season. They mentioned Kelly's podcast once in season one. And then from what I can recall, not again until the final season. And it was her, you know, doing her audio portion. And I honestly thought that they were going to use that as a wrap up to end all the episodes, but they didn't. And I was just kind of like, so she has this podcast that y'all just casually mentioned. She has this baby that y'all just casually mentioned. And then we don't ever see or hear from them again. And I was kind of, I didn't like that. I would want to see more than that from Kelly. People were like, she needs a spinoff. I wouldn't disagree. It'd be funny. 
I would love to know what is the issue between her and Amal not getting along because their they're back and forth is hilarious to me. This is the Sky High Mascara that I mentioned in the favorites. So this is kind of a combination of new stuff and favorites basically is what I'm noticing as I'm doing this video. Um, I'm going to hurry up and do a lip because I've been talking for 11 minutes and that's not including the additional clips that need to go here. And that's just a lot of conversation. So yeah, it's just a lot of talking. Feels so weird not having nails on. But this is how the look came out. I might put lashes on. Go to wait and see how I feel. Um, I don't feel like putting on. Should I do gloss? Should I do? My hair is giving what it's supposed to give, honey. She giving length. You can't see. Trust me. She giving length. She giving. I don't know. She's just giving. I'm running my battery's running low now <laughs> um I don't really know what to do with my lips should I just do liner and a gloss or something I don't know let me figure that out I'll be back I couldn't really decide on a lip I'm just gonna go in with just bay cuz from dose of colors B A E C A U S E get it because just something to do a little something without doing too much I like my eyes though I like my eyes and the foundation I think it turned out better than what I was expect I was afraid <laughs> when I first put it on I was afraid I was petrified but it came together am I gonna do lashes I might maybe not for here because again that will make the video entirely too long but I think I'm gonna put some on real quick but this is the final look just to chit chat get ready with me trying some new products that I got it's a highlight highlighting I mean, kind of. I'm trying not to do too much. I can see it. I don't know if you can see it, though. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you have any ideas for 2022, is that the year it's going to be? Yeah, please let me know because your girl's grasping at straws and on the brink of giving up. I'm just saying. So let me know what you want to see. Okay? Okay. Thank you for watching. And until my next video, I'll see you later.